Okay, so this is Scott. Hey, and this is Jay. And this is Scott and Jay Show, and it is April Fool's here. Yes. And 37 degrees outside. So, uh, don't believe anything you hear today. No. Nothing. Um, be on your guard. Don't let anybody pull a joke on you. So, if, if you're do, telling everybody be to be on your guard, and you say, don't believe anybody, uh-huh. should you really be on your guard? There's a paradox right there. Yeah. Something for me to think about. I haven't had <laughs> enough of this yet, though. Should you be yes. on your guard? Maybe not. So I was mean to my daughter this morning. and, and Told her uh, there was no school. Yeah, I said, hey, I, Mom didn't want me to wake you up, but I just want to let you know there's no school today. We got a foot and a half of snow last night. Yeah. She kind of sleepily looked up at me. Really? I said, no, April Fool's. <laughs> 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 Threw her covers back over her head and was mad. Oh, man. <laughs> I fell asleep in the... Look, I fell asleep in the... Uh, you can tell the difference. I fell asleep in the chair in the backyard yesterday afternoon and nice. about burned my face off. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, man. So, yeah, it looks like I got a spray-on tan or something. <laughs> So March Madness, we got the, we're down to the four, the Louisville, uh, which is finally date, finally down to the final, final four, finally, yeah. finally. And uh, who yeah, else I'm pulling for Wichita it? State. Wichita State, yeah. Yeah. Of course, my, our Florida my, uh, Golden. Florida Gulf Coast Gulf lost. Coast, yeah, yeah, they lost the Sweet Sixteen. We were, but anyway, yeah, my my, uh, my grandparents lived in Wichita. My my grandpa was a huge Wichita State fan. Well, there you go. And so I've always liked Wichita State right. because anyway. of that. So uh, what are, what's their mascot, the Wichita State? They Boys? are or? the Wheat Shockers. Wheat Shockers. Yes. So what Wichita does the Wheat Shocker look like? Um, okay, so you know you know the, the big stock of wheat, the big thing of wheat with wheat pouring out, that's what a shock is. Okay, shock of wheat. So you got that running around court. Yes. Dropping seeds everywhere. Don't light any matches. So uh, I I hope they they make it to uh, actually I hope they win the national championship. So Jay and I have some big news this morning. Um, Yes. We got uh, picked up by uh, ABC affiliate in Tulsa. We're really uh, excited. So that would be that would be pretty cool. I mean, they watched our they watched our tapes and video, and they now are asking us to host a morning show uh, at uh, at the uh, affiliate station there in Tulsa on ABC. So yeah, you watch it for us there. That'll be really actually, cool. We've actually been working this for quite a while. Um, we've been trying. That's why we did all sorts of different things. We tried a lot of different things and. Um, really, it was. It, it's been what about three months that we've been working on it. Yeah, so, three, four months. Yeah. yeah, we're really excited about it. So yeah, so we'll, as soon as the details flesh out and we know what time slot we'll be on in the morning, then uh, we'll let you guys know and you can follow us over there. So yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, I'm really. We're really excited about it. Yeah. Y'all came over Friday night. Yeah, oh man, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Watched yep. uh, Raising Arizona. I'm not sure the wives enjoyed it as much as oh, we did. They but did. They just absolutely loved it. They were just. <laughs> they laughed at the same parts we were laughing at, yeah. and they I, I couldn't believe they were reciting the same lines we were reciting. I think they enjoyed it more than we did. I, I think they did. We I fell asleep for a little while during the movie. Yeah, as a matter of fact, when they recommended Woke up with my wife laughing. Yeah, when when they recommended that we watch Dumb and Dumber, I knew we were in. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> getting getting funny looks from the Starbucks staff here at no, Starbucks Studios. This, this water jet oh. is like shooting way out over there. <laughs> We've got malfunctions at the Starbucks Studios here. All right. <laughs> so yeah, so that was a lot of fun, and <clears throat> so we watched our Raised in Arizona and. Uh, we watched a uh, movie yesterday called Room 237. It's a documentary on Stanley Kubrick's movie The Shining. Oh, yeah. About uh, all the hidden messages in The Shining. And it's pretty interesting. Some of some of it's quite a stretch. Was that on Netflix or was that on? It's on uh, iTunes. 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 But uh, there are some conspiracy theorist type things going on there, you know. It's... 
There's a stretch, what some people think the movie really means, but uh, it was interesting, all the hidden little signals and messages in, in a very already complex movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, have you seen The Shining? I have. I have it. you seen The Shining? You have Great not seen it. Yeah. Yeah. Really old, and that makes me feel old, because... Have you seen The Shining? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I forgot they did that one. Yeah. Forgettable. Yeah. So, anyway, um, what else is going on? I watched a movie yesterday. Uh, it was called uh, Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. Um, Seen it. That was, that's, a, that's a good movie. It's a good movie, yeah. Um, I don't know that I can go total juicing. I did. That, that movie was the that movie was the pivoting point for me, and I juiced for three months after that. No, really? Three months, yes. Really? Straight juice? Straight, straight No, no, no food? You know, sometimes I would sneak a cracker or two every once in a while, but no. No, I juiced everything. So I planned how did it all you, out. How did you feel during that time? Unbelievable. Yeah. The first week was tougher than nails, but after that... Uh, slept better than I'd slept in a long time. My attention span was rock solid. Uh, of course, losing the weight, that makes you feel good. Oh, yeah. Energy level, like, you know, it would wane because the sugar level would get a little low. Yeah. But uh, it was good. It was really, really good. Yeah, I don't know that I could do the total juicing because I'm, I'm so much into fiber. But, right. Uh, you know, I, I, I would... I've got a, a Vitamix, and so which is what I think they've got right. here. Um, you know that that can grind so, you know, uh, rocks into like... sand. It's it's good stuff. <laughs> Here's my sand. So you could you could do a <laughs> yeah you what? Yeah, I ate sand. <laughs> and One day I made crawdad on my own. I forgot to put water in. It was just like making popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> it was like making what? Popcorn. <laughs> oh, man. So, you know, you can do a smoothie every once in a while. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah I, a, I like the smoothie. Snacky yeah. thing. And but the, the thing that made. It's good, too. You know, how you The thing that made sense to me was the fact that, you know, he showed this big plate of vegetables and he said, How are you going to eat this much three or four times a day? The only way to do it is, is by juicing, juicing it. it. Yeah. Well,. I, I like the juice and all, but I, I still think that I would rather have the pulp yeah. and everything else that goes so with it. So I think, it. you know, if you do a combination of both, yeah, you know, maybe juice it for the snack, like the midday, whatever. Yeah, and so the other thing I'm, I'm contemplating this, this, Carrot juice uh, and apple's really good. this week is um, I'm looking at, at the Engine 2 diet, Engine which two. is a total vegan diet. So why don't you just do what you've been doing? Well, because I, I'm at the point where I'm thinking, you know what? I wanna, I wanna st take the next step and go more of a vegetarian. Um, get out of the of the beef, get out of the the, the any type of meats at all. Um, just to to see how that that does. And and that made total that movie made total sense about. The total lack of, of uh, or get, getting out of the, the, the animal fats and stuff, it, you, your health will improve, and um, you know your chances of diabetes, those type of things will be done. Okay. Well, why don't you just call it your own diet? Why don't you just give it your own name and do what you're doing? Do what you do. Just do diet. that. It's just called the That's kind of what I'm doing. Diet. Yeah. I'm doing of course, the Nancy diet. will want to have something to say about that. Yeah. She says, "Just listen to your body." Yeah. Yep. All right. Well. Nice lull. L lull in the conversation. <laughs> what time is it? It's seven fifty. Seven fifty. So I'm still. Uh, I'm almost through with this. This was my book I was reading last week, Tribes by Seth Godin, and it's a. Yeah, look, look how thin that is, and I still didn't finish it last week, so I'm going to finish this today. I'm, I got to finish Were you it. reading it yesterday? And yeah, yeah, that's when I fell asleep, asleep in the sun, the sun. <laughs> fried my face off. That's so awesome. And uh, I, uh, 
the Lose It app, still trying to incorporate the Lose It app into my daily routine, and water. Dang it. Yep. Jay reminded me the other night, I need to, drink, I need to be drinking more water. Hey, so, look at what well, there he is. <laughs> How much water are we supposed to drink? Um, half your weight in ounces. Half your weight in so, ounces. So, um, I weigh 255, so I should be drinking 127 and a half ounces right. of water a day. Half which, your weight in ounces. So, if you weighed 200 ounces... You have to drink uh, 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 100 ounces of water. If you had 200, 200 pounds, pounds yes. of 100 ounces of water. Yeah, so yesterday, let's see how much uh, hydration I got in yesterday. Big Easter yesterday, did you get your Easter candy? I didn't have any Easter candy at all. I had like 210 ounces of water yesterday. Yes. I was very hydrated. <laughs> Well, all right. So there you go. Water, hydration, read your book a week, and check us out on ABC. Yeah, looking forward so, to it. Anyway, um, what, uh, what's the, uh, probably the, the worst, oh, we got to talk about the broken leg. Talk about the broken oh leg. Oh, my gosh. Uh, so yesterday, he, uh, Kevin Ware from Louisville going up to block a three-point shot, misses it, comes down, lands on his leg, breaks it uh, in two places. Bones, two? he lay, laying down on the ground, bones sticking out of his skin. It was nasty. So check it out on YouTube. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put a link to it in our show notes on YouTube. So, yeah. so you can enjoy it, too. Yes, you can enjoy it, too. Yes, it's not for the uh, faint of faint heart. Of heart. Mm-hmm. So what's the top ten reasons why basketball players get broken bones? What's the what was, what was the worst? A- absolutely has to be poor uh, preparation, poor nutrition, and really the number one reason is 